Hello everybody, welcome back. One big question I get all the time is once I learn my scale positions, how do I move smoothly between them? Because when we improvise, when we play solos, we certainly don't want to be stuck going up and down a scale. To keep things simple, let's stick to C major and to the cage system. We're gonna use these two positions to begin with. They're the fourth position of the cage system, which goes like this. <laughs> the fifth position, the one right next to it, which goes like this. As soon as you're done with that, I would like you to pick any string you want, let's say the third string, and I would like you to ascend on the first position we work with, the fourth one, and as soon as I get to the third string, move up to the next one, which is the fifth, and continue playing. As I work my way down, and I get to the third string again, move down to the fourth. Just like that. And again. I would like you to do this with all different strings. So go on the first one, the second one, and so on. Once you're done with that, I would like to add another string, which means we're going to move on one string as we ascend, but on a different string as we descend. Let's say maybe five and two, which they're kind of far apart. I'm gonna start playing. When I get to the fifth string, I go up to the next position. Keep playing. But on the descent, as soon as I get to the second string, I go back to the previous one. All together, it will look like this. By the way, if you want to download all this stuff in this video and more, check out my Patreon below. The next step up would be to pick a position that's further away rather than adjacent to the previous one. In this case, let's try one more. So we go up to the first position of the cage system, which I'll show you right now. It goes like this. <laughs> And we do the same thing as before. Let's say I'm moving from the fourth string here, so I'll play the first three. And now I have to move and play 12, 14, 15 on this new position. I could do it simply by sliding my last finger until I fall into the correct pattern. I suggest you actually shift the whole hand position like this. You play whatever you have to play on the first one and then move already into the right position. When you descend, let's say I'm going down on the on the second string. I play the whole second string of my first position and then shift with the correct fingers so that I'm already in position to play the next one. There you go, you can actually do this with all kinds of positions. You should do it forward and backwards. You should do this with every scale you know, and you should do this with every scale system you know. So maybe you use three notes per string, maybe you use four notes per string, maybe you use octaves, whatever you use. Try to explore this in as many different variants as possible. It's really something you should work on. It's, uh, it makes a big difference in your phrasing, in your control of the instrument, in your fretboard knowledge. And of course, do this in all keys, because when you start with a bunch of flats and sharps, it really takes it to the next level. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, maybe give it a like and subscribe. It really does help me reach more people. And if you're learning new things and you'd like to support the channel, make sure you check out the links below. There's books, music, all kinds of good stuff. But no matter what you do, I'll see you next week for more. Make sure you let me know in the comments below about your progress. And if you have any requests, I'll be happy to try and help you out. See you soon.